Hey guys, Fix It here for my daughter. We're gonna do a lemon battery. That's what we're gonna make today. So we actually haven't done it. This is our first try. We're gonna see how this works out. What you need is at least one lemon. You, they say you can cut this into four pieces or you can cut two into two pieces. You need multiple pieces in order to do this because all the liquid needs to be separated. That's the catalyst for basically creating the battery. And so what you need is a, a lemon or a couple lemons, some copper. What we got is some like house wiring and you take the, the ground out of it, that's copper. And then a galvanized nail. So we got five galvanized nails, five pieces of copper, a couple of the, uh, the lemons, and I got a whole bunch of these LED lights. So let's get started with this. First thing you want to want to do is build or go buy these. Um, these are alligator clips and then some wire to connect them because you're going to try to connect the pieces together. So um, what I'm going to do is I've already created three of these by soldering the wire onto the alligator clips. And so we're going to, I'll show you how to make that. So you get the one wire, obviously you want to split the ends. She's my helper, so she's going to be doing some of the, the poking the nails into the lemons and stuff like that. Because she's pretty good at that. But, uh, so what she's going to be doing is making this for a school project. So we're working on it together now so we can both learn how to do this. So obviously you're going to strip the ends. I'm going to fast forward through this real quick. Got some alligator clips here. Um, just buy them. They're like a, a buck fifty down at Home Depot. Take those out. Put that aside. And then you're just going to basically solder. Soldering is an art. I've heard it many times before. Um, and it really is. It takes a lot to get the, the solder to adhere to both pieces. You got to heat up the piece and the wire, and you don't want to just drip the solder onto it. So uh, let's do that part. Okay, so now all this stuff is pinched together, so what I'm going to do is do my soldering to keep make sure this is a good connection. Because you don't want to cause any extra resistance, so when it loses connection, it's just not going to work out. And you'd probably be better served to have a better soldering gun. I have a household soldering gun, which is way too hot, but it works for this application. Yep, don't breathe that, I told her. You don't want to breathe that, that solder smoke. Um, so basically do that to each side. So uh, this is going to be boring. So I'm going to fast forward to actually making the battery. All right, so uh, now we've got all of our cables built, all soldered up, good connections. We've checked connectivity or continuity between the two so we know each one will get the power and go where it needs to go. Now what we're going to do is make the battery. Um, I'll leave some descriptions below about how this works and what the science is behind it. And that's what she's going to explain to her class in her science fair coming up too. So I got to learn it. We don't know it. So we're trying to learn this stuff together. Um, so what we're going to do is they said that you don't want to have all the copper and the zinc going into one lemon because they'll cross and it just won't affect the outcome. So what we're going to do is um, first off, you, you roll the lemon to kind of mash it up inside so the liquid is there. This is messy, so we're just going to cut this one in half. I'm going to use two halves. There's one half. And we got the Gigantor lemons too. I don't know why, just because we could, so we did. <laughs> There we go. So what we've heard and what we've watched on, on TV, on YouTube, is that one lemon is not enough. It only gives about one volt. And so what we're going to do is, they, what we've seen is, as you add more and more lemons, it's not 
not it doesn't double, but it almost doubles. So about four lemons is about three and a half volts is what we need to light up an LED, we believe. So we're gonna start that now. So I'm gonna have my daughter put one zinc into one side of each one of these. This one too, on this side. Two, on one side. Side? Nope. <clears throat> that on the other side. Perfect. So this is going to be your negative lead on your power. Now, it's because these are kind of sharp, I'm going to do them. Then on the other side, you put copper in. Sure. Alright, so these are, in essence, little batteries. So, let's see, these can probably be separated. So I'm just gonna pull these off so they're just individual connectors. I'm going to have this be the negative side and this be the positive side. So I'm gonna connect this positive to this negative, this positive to this negative. And finally, this positive, this negative. Okay, so we got them all lined up. Good connections, okay. Now let's move this so that these can get closer to the battery. Cool, all right. I made too many of those. So now we got super cheap off the internet, 50 of these LEDs, so I'm sure we're gonna do some kind of cool project later that uses these LEDs in some type of thing. They said on these LEDs that the flat side is the negative, so we might get this wrong, so we'll just flip it over. We'll see if it works. <coughs> so I'm gonna bend them over so they actually go to both sides, and I think this is the flat side. We'll take a guess. So I'll take this one, put it on the what I think is the negative, which is that. Get another one. And put it on what I think is the positive. <laughs> now mind you, we've never done this before, so we don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, it's working. It's working, look. Let me bring you in closer. Check this out. This is crazy. This is amazing. It's lighting up. There's no other batteries or anything attached to this. It is just the lemons. Um, wow. I wish we could see that in the dark. Look at that. There's no doubt about it that it is lit up. So that's a lemon battery. All right, so there you have it. Um, got this bulb going. So let's just check to see what the uh, voltages were. You want to tilt this up to us? So we said that this was the negative. So we'll patch that into there. And I'll patch this into here. Okay, so it looks like it reads about three volts. So there you have it. Uh, lemon battery, we lit up an LED. But Dad, it's not bright enough. Oh, well what should we do? Add another lemon. All right, grab the last lemon, we'll cut it up. So the theory is that if we get this other lemon out, uh, my daughter's gonna get, the theory is that if we add this, it will increase the flow. Like if you add more batteries, then it should work. So let's see if that is true. Bam, do that. Negative, negative. Positive. Positive. Yep, and. Positive. Right. All right, let's add this to our mix. So 
So we'll get it at like that. But that positive goes to this negative. And then this negative goes to this positive, right? Mm -hmm. So now in theory, with all these, we should be able to attach the last ones to our LED and our negative to the bulb. As we said before, the flat side is the negative. And then this positive sure smells good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Cut lemon to this positive. Oh, that is brighter. That's way brighter. You can see it, can't you? Mm -hmm. Wow, check that now out. Now we can turn down the lights. <sighs> Isn't that crazy? No. So we got six lemons to light up this light. Now let's figure out how many volts this is. Okay, so I got my voltmeter set to 10 volts. I take these off, and this is my positive. So I attach to my positive, and my negative to my negative. Holy macaroons, look at that. So right there, what this means is this is four volts. This is pushing out four volts. That's amazing. Um, so let's do, let's attach that LED again. 